Okay, this is a demo of the MX70 API that I've set up. Um, it's quite simple. The first part I'll show you is the uh, auto take. I've got two sources set up on A and B, so there's source 1 on row A, source 2 on row B and I'm just going to auto take between the two by, by calling an API function there we go, that's the auto taking and it's, so I'll do it again, auto take back again and it's just, if I've got two sources and I need to, I want a script that uh, the changing it's pretty easy, just call the API function whenever when I want to and it changes without touching the the desk Um, the, I can adjust the speed so I can either flick it really quick by changing the speed to 1 okay um, or I can play it much more slower I'll set the speed to 50 and now it's a, a slow transition you can see that I can go up to speed 900 and 99 or something but that just takes forever so I'm not going to bother so oh, I put it on speed 10 and that seems pretty good doesn't look out of place and you can see that the the lights on the desk the auto take button fli uh, flicks red and you can see that the the active uh, row switches from A to B and then back again Okay, now I'm going to show you uh, something a bit more advanced. I can there are eight source inputs, and I can choose all of them by using the function um, set row set row source. So we'll d we'll go through all the sources on A. So on row A, I can set source one, which it already is. So I can actually set source two now so directly. I can set source three and I can set source 4 and I can set source 5 note that, uh, button 1 goes on and there's a, the shift button which is red which is next to it that's source 6 source 7 and source 8 and I'll go back to source 1 now um, I can also set the sources on row B so there's source uh, 1, source 2, I don't have row B um, as active right now so we're not seeing the changes 4, but we can see the button has been lit up Oops, 5, note, note the red shift 6, um, 7 and 8 ok so I'm going to put that on source row B on source 3 source A is active and I want to fade to the next so that's where another function comes in now it's called fade to row B so because I've chosen my source for row B now I want to go to make row B active and I've got a speed equals 10 okay now I'll flick back to A but first I'll change the source on row A to source 2 there it is now I'm going to flick back to row A speed 10 okay now for row B I'm going to set the source 1 uh, wrong one <laughs> mistake put that back I'm not a producer Row B source, row B source one. There we go. Now uh, I'm going to fade to row B. Okay, oh, that's great. Now I'm going to set row A um, to source three, just for another, just so you can see. And now I'm going to fade back to row A. At speed ten. Now I can switch. I can change the speed, like I can here, like I can with the like I did with the auto take. So I'm going to speed 
one, which is instant. Go back to row A, speed one, or I can have it much slower. I'll go to row uh, B, speed 50, or row back to row A, speed 50. Okay, so that is um, changing video sources using the API. Excellent.